Invite everyone to take a nice deep breath, please. Okay, so I feel guided to speak with you about understanding your expanded awareness of your evolutionary multi-trajectory self. And this is very important because understanding the evolution of your journey, which is a continuum. A lot of times we're looking for this destination, this final arrivement. And as you are navigating this experience, you have these different variations of your life and you have to examine your evolution holistically, the totality of your multi-trajectory essence. We tend to look again one-dimensionally at our experiences, even when you are multi-trajectory. You start looking at your evolution in terms of this life. And again, even the content of what may be perceived as past lifetimes, different, you know, archives of the soul. But in your multidimensional expansion, it's different because it's compounded with other timelines within timelines of that context. But you hear me talk a lot about going through the metamorphosis to really gain the expanded awareness because all of that content actually breaks down. And so... When you are in your expanded awareness of your evolutionary self, so to speak, that's going to contain not just what would be perceived as a multidimensional archive, but it is actually the newness of who you are because that encoding is being unlocked to reveal to you the newness. And then it gets you to see how evolved you are as a soul and how you need to now operate from this place of that higher awareness and not just in, again, just in, in a dimension. This helps to better clarify to different purposes that you have and how you, you move and navigate through your purposes fairly quickly or there's sometimes like a time limit on how you're showing up. And I remember when I was receiving... Um, this awareness in terms of there were things that I could do within a two-week period of time that literally could be something that would take decades. And when I got the awareness around that, the my awareness was still on just uh, this trajectory. It wasn't even taken into account the other trajectories because I had not reached that point of understanding myself in that way. So when this was happening, a few of the challenges that were, were taking place or presenting themselves to me and something I would have to share with others is that the information of the old and current world just didn't make sense to you anymore. And the frameworks, that they just were foreign because you become so new. And then again, certain things that may be presenting themselves that you're trying to work out in this um, linear context. It's like the trajectories are saying, hey, let's work together. It's you working with you, okay? It's you working with you, different levels of awareness. And so getting solutions and just saying, listen, that would take you 20 years to do. But you can do this in two weeks. Yes, you can find what your your unique encoding is for the answers to that. Or you could just say, where am I already evolved and need that trigger in this timeline to reawaken me to what is actually already a done deal, what's actually already complete. And then within that two week time frame, you can catch yourself up with the evolution of that. And then it's a very authentic expression. Now, some of you may feel like, no, that's a cheat code. That's a, you know, it's like, no, it's not because you've already put the work in somewhere else to now be aware of that. And you still have something that you have to do. And and I'm, I'm going to be honest, for me, that part of the experience is not the easiest because I 
you know, am used to putting my hands in the clay and I don't say grinding it out, so to speak, but it just is, um, yes, yeah, just me wanting to do the physicality of it here. Um, and there could have been a part of me that just felt like, yeah, well, calling on a different dimension of myself, you know, that would seem like, well, is that cheating? Because, I mean, I had to do the work on that other dimension. And again, the work still has to be done. It's not actually about that. It's the awareness. And then it giving you the awareness of how this can be done in a shorter time frame and be even more effective. All right. And when you are multi trajectory, you have multi missions. Sometimes you have to navigate through those, you know, in these shorter time frames. Like for me, every 90 days, I'm in a new trajectory of my purpose. But like within two weeks increments, I'm already compounding compounding different aspects and then awakening to, oh, this is already played out a certain way. What is the wisdom and insight around how this can be done differently um, or again, more efficiently or however short a time. So something that could take you, let's say a year, you're, you're able to do it within a month because you're now calling on and Connecting, I should say, I don't even want to say calling on because you you are drawing from this expanded awareness of yourself. And again, you can start to find out where am I already actually evolved? And where in this trajectory has someone did some altering? Like I, you know, I won't get into this during this time, but I had some code altering in my physicality, in my anatomy energetically um by a, a generational in a group assigned curse but it was the very thing that woke me up to who i truly was and without that brutal experience that was designed to end me i would not be in my fuller expression right and so sometimes there are things that are being altered in this trajectory and it's being allowed by source for a reason it's to bring you up higher even though it may seem like you just feel completely abandoned in a sense because life just seems to keep happening to you but it's actually always happening for you right so when you allow yourself to catch up with the evolution of who you are understanding it is more than just your evolving in a linear format and even a nonlinear format in this trajectory, you have to take into account the whole of your experience that you can become conscious of, right? So this is, <laughs> I know this, this could be a lot, even for those of you who are just like, wow, I'm, I'm new to this and I'm trying to understand um, how I start to live from this place because it just seems like it's, it's a lot to take in and you have to be really intentional. I, I share with a lot of people as it relates to this type of work and the way we're supposed to be living is you, you don't get to be lazy. No one gets to be a robot just in default. You literally have to be engaged in these dynamics of your experience, right? And not being on the default, not being robotic, you're not, you're not here to just regurgitate and live the same thing over and over and over again. You have the power within you to call forth and pull forth these different levels of, of who you are. And so again, when you look at the expanded awareness of the evolutionary self, the evolution is, again, these different trajectories. And then we'll yield to you the information about your multi-trajectory purpose, how you need to be showing up, how it all operates as one cohesive unit, yet the distinctions in terms of the departments, um, yeah, there's the, you know, these different categories of you. Yeah, it's, it's something you have to allow it to be fleshed out. It's just, it's a unique experience. Like I said, when you get to understand yourself in that way, it's like, wow, 
man, I am more than meets the eye. I am, you know, wow personified. I am the epitome of the wow factor in this unique expression, the way that life is playing out. And again, when you start to understand how your evolution works, this is where you come more into tapping into your rare genius way of being. And I want to just provide a little context to rare geniuses. And uh, my my daughter actually has to be a, happens to be a rare genius. I'm a rare genius and I have a different platform that focuses on rare geniuses. Rare geniuses are those individuals who have a very nonlinear life in terms of how they learn, how they develop. And it kind of happens in this way so that their genius has a distinction versus the geniuses that we um, have learned about throughout history. Because those types of geniuses, they still fall under a matrix template because people are you know, astound in a sense by what they're able to do and capabilities or smartness is still going to be based on some type of system already in place where with a rare genius, especially a multi-trajectory, that's a completely different type of experience, completely different type of experience because the way things will play out for them is that their intelligence is not measured by a system that, you know, only has these different categories and say, yes, you're a genius because you know how to do this or your calculus score, your different things. No, a rare genius may not display any of that, may not be able to pass any standardized tests traditionally or however, or how they learned what they learned. Sometimes something that they would learn in high school they actually learned it in elementary and something that they would learn in elementary, they're learning that at a high school level. Um, and, and or there's different trajectories of them that have already played out a certain way. So it's, again, it's really interesting, but your evolved self taps you into this expanded awareness of, of genius. And it's just phenomenal to live from this place and to know that you have support, self-support, source support, right? On so, 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 so many different levels. But you have to allow yourself mm -hmm, to be expanded in this way. You have to crave the evolution. So I'm going to leave it here. I just felt compelled to share about um, this just even in a basic way and hoping that what you've been listening to so far is providing the right food for thought for you. And I'm going to close it out here. Again, check the description for related resources and opportunities to uh, to work with me in this area. So as always, I'm wishing you the absolute best. Take care and stay blessed.